Welcome, this video will show you how to add Dropbox to my computer. Okay, so see that my Dropbox is added as a, uh, a drive letter. Here it's R. Um, this is useful if I want to reference it. Um, uh, I can just call it um, R colon in Mathematica, for example. I want to do like an import. I can use R colon. Um, and that's nice because I share this Mathematica file across all of my computers and all of my computers will have the same Dropbox location. Uh, so that's that's the best use of this for me. Anyhow, to start, uh, we'll just go to our Dropbox folder. Okay, browse to it wherever it may be. Um, I have it favorited. You can also go to uh, wherever it is on your desktop maybe. Okay, and I just want to copy the file location, the path, the folder path up here copy. Alright, and I can close that now and I want to go to startup all programs and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Okay, And I want to right click on startup and go to open and that opens a folder right here. Okay, So I just want to go to new shortcut now and I will type in sub st And then whatever drive letter you want to assign here, I'll assign it um, X. And then quote. And then I want you to paste the folder path and then close quote. All right, and click next. And we'll name it something. Um, Okay, and I'll just name it Dropbox Drive. It does not matter what you name it. And I'll click Finish. Okay. Um, so your this will not appear immediately. Okay, so notice I don't have a Drive X right now. Uh, but whenever your computer starts up, it's going to look in this folder called Startup. And it's going to run all the things in this folder. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and run it right now to kind of simulate a computer startup. Okay, and it's still going to run it every time I boot up my computer. But now look... I have local disk X here. Um, okay, so uh, if you ever want to get rid of this, just go to startup and you just delete this. Right click and go to delete. Okay, and it, it won't go away immediately. Okay, so this will still be here, but when you reboot your computer, this drive will be gone because it won't run that little startup script. All right, thanks for watching.